Well, the objective of this study tour by bringing West Africans to Uganda is for the West African uh, participating program and the, uh, the FAO China South South Cooperation Program is to understand how the Ugandan government has put in place its coordination mechanism with regards to implementing the FAO China South South Cooperation Program. It's also to give them the opportunity to learn from the Ugandan counterparts with regards to how to implement uh, a China South South uh, bilateral uh, cooperation. From the FAO perspective uh, in Uganda, the South South cooperation with China has been uh, a wonderful experience uh, that really was able to, to bring the three parties uh, concerned, not only the China, but also the government of Uganda. We did support of FAO to deliver on what it was agreed. For us in Uganda here, the South South Cooperation Program is one of our flagship uh, programs in, in this country, as far as FAO is concerned, because of the results that uh, it has achieved. FAO's part is overall coordination, administrative issues. Uh, when the finance from China is put in place, it comes to Uganda through FAO. As you also know, FAO has been facilitating South-South cooperation for the last 20 years. And one aspect that FAO engages in is how do we support government when it comes to implementing South-South cooperation program. On the side of the host country, Uganda, we make sure that we, we recognize this project and we give it funding. Uh, what has come out quite clear is the importance of uh, the host government's commitment to the program. And here, for the case of Uganda, uh, we, I must say that uh, the government of Uganda has shown a very high level of commitment, right from the project coordinator uh, and the officers who are working with the corporates, up to very high level, up to the president's level. With um, Uganda, the government has put in place a structure that allows it to effectively implement this program in a way of by contributing resources to uh, the program. This particular initiative is to let our West African counterparts understand what the Ugandans are doing with regards to coordination at the ministry level, coordination at the FAO country office, and then coordination within the Chinese team. We believe that this uh, partnership was a strong one because it involved a strong involvement not only from the perspective of the country itself that showed a, a strong leadership and a, a strong ownership in the process but also for the commitment that we uh, got from the Chinese and the Chinese government uh, that ensure that the project implemented uh, had an, uh, an impact at the farmer's level. We get substantial funding from People's Republic of China. We also get experts and technicians in selected areas in agriculture, like livestock, like fish, crop production. And then we also carry out capacity development where our people go to China and all that is sponsored mostly by China government, through FAO. At the end of the day, there is that transfer of technology, that transfer of experience to the national counterpart, and we have achieved that in Uganda. Tout d'abord, je voudrais commencer par dire merci à la FAO qui a bien voulu permettre à ce que ce projet puisse se faire la coopération sud-sud entre la Côte d'Ivoire et la Chine. La FAO nous a invités à Ouganda pour nous inspirer sur l'exemple en chose à Ouganda. Et à partir des visites que nous avons réalisées, on a appris beaucoup de choses. Au retour, nous avons demandé à nos gouvernements de suivre cet exemple. Nous allons demander à nos gouvernements d'accompagner cette coopération qui est vraiment un modèle pour la réussite de nos pays. Puisque nous avons visité des choses concrètes, 
qui nous ont permis de comprendre comment est-ce que la Chine fait, quelle est l'approche de la Chine dans le cadre de la coopération Sud-Sud, avec tout ce qui est transfert de technologie, tout ce qui est renforcement de capacités, mais aussi un peu le partage entre les différentes parties. Mais aussi cette mission nous a permis un peu de comprendre le rôle de la FAO dans ce processus, puisqu'on comprend parfaitement que la FAO joue un rôle extrêmement important, qui est un peu la gestion de tout ce qui est budget fonds, mais aussi l'appui un peu en matière d'équipement de, de, aux partenaires sur le terrain. Aussi au travers de ce voyage d'études, nous avons vu véritablement la magie, si je peux dire, des différentes technologies. En effet, au niveau de, des productions, nous avons constaté ici en Ouganda une augmentation des différentes productions et cela a un impact très, très, très positif sur la population, sur l'économie, euh, sur tout le développement, si on veut dire, du pays. Donc c'est un projet vraiment qui nous tient à cœur et nous espérons en tout cas que tout se passe dans les meilleures conditions. The results are positive, uh, well recognized, not only at the country level, but also uh, within the Chinese uh, cooperation. They, they have seen uh, the implementation of Uganda project as a model, and uh, the perspective is for this uh, to continue. This introduction of uh, technology for planting rice, which are superior uh, and which is so appropriate for this country, I think. Uh, is what motivated the government of Uganda to be so committed. The project realized tremendous benefits. Well, with this uh, activity or with this study tour, I'm hoping that once we start the sub-regional project on rice value chain, which is being funded under the FAO China program, then various national co coordinators, their respective focal points from the FAO countries' office and uh, in West Africa, would have understand how we go about implementing the project. So that we, when we start the project, they know that there is that responsibility from the host country that they have to follow up, that the national coordinators of these projects will understand that there is a need for logistics to be put in place before cooperance arrives. So at the end of the day, we are hoping that national coordinators will have a grasp of how South-South cooperation between China and when FAO is facilitated, how it works.